All right, hello everybody. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I hope everybody enjoyed their uh, vacation time. Now, unfortunately, we have to talk about some boring technical details. After the release of the cars, I want to go over a few things. But not to make it too boring, we're going to watch this little race of 1970 uh, cars. What's this mod? Um, Saturday Night Stock Cars, I believe it's called. Awesome looking cars. Anyway. Let me switch to the spectator mode and off we go. I'm gonna cover about, you know, 10 basic points that I want to go over with for about a lap each. And the first one I want to talk about is the engines. What you're looking at right now is 426 Hemis that I made yesterday. Uh, you don't get to play around with them just yet. Maybe in the next pack. But let me talk about the first pack. And the A1 edit means it's only got an engine edited. A2 means it's got a little bit of chassis in it. Even though the edits that were released are A2, uh, this releases mostly to show you guys the differences that can be made when you change the engine. And then I'll make a couple of videos how to make one. So if you follow along, you'll easily be able to make your own engine with whatever car that you would like. And that's the awesome part about it. Now you got like six or seven cars in the first pack I believe and they all got different engines and transmissions in them you'll know what I'm talking about you'll feel the difference if you drive the cars the second point I want to make is that AI development is at zero I'm not changing any AI lines I'm not changing any track lines I'm not doing any adjustments there zero nothing I'm not even going there I don't have time to do both AI and physics uh, plus I think the physics should be complete first and then you do the AI development to the certain types of physics that you made that's my second point of all third point we don't have all the fields in the engine profile uh, known so to say we still have oil and water lines as well as AI gear ratios I left all of that stock just for testing purposes for the first release oil and water we're gonna do some testing and we're gonna do some you know modifying and seeing what those are and what they mean i think it's how much energy gets lost to the cooling and water systems i think that's what those numbers are also ai gear ratios i believe these cars are going let me see about 151 152 my car because i can drop my differential and gear ratios a little bit lower than what the ai is set for can go about 10 miles faster than them so that needs adjustment if you want realistic racing you need to adjust AI gear ratios I'm not gonna adjust all of the AI gear ratios for every car or for everything that's released that's kept no AI guys don't blame me for AI mistakes or AI anything not just yet okay fourth point is that you got seven cars I want some feedback guys please tell me what you feel what what feels realistic what feels unrealistic what to change where to go for this are just pre 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 beta okay then mostly what I'm proud about is that all of the values are real 100% real values from online specs now what might not be real is the websites that provide those specs because I've noticed some websites might have a little bit different here and there that's what's not real everything else here all the math everything behind the engine has been changed for now 100% real I could I could certify that we could go and disassemble every single value and trace it back I'll show you how to make an engine and you'll see where we get all the values from now now let's say some of the cars don't line up from 0 to 60 or quarter mile times or top speed well obviously because we only changed a little bit of values the tires are still stuck and blah 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 I believe for A2 edit you need some room for adjustments you know you can not change the car weight because the car weight is what the car weight right you cannot change the maximum horsepower and the maximum torque because this is what the specs for these engines are and if you change them that's not going to be the same engine I believe what you can change is um, torque number one, the initial takeoff torque. You know how much torque you're making it at the beginning when you just take off. It's not as important because we're mostly dealing with rolling starts and racing. You know, we're not city driving. And uh, I believe those are tunable numbers, torque one. I'll make a separate video on that. Now, on top speed. I do not believe, I mean, I strongly believe that changing frontal area of the car to adjust anything is madness. 
you're changing the size of the car if the car is smaller or bigger it's no longer the same car that you're advertising that you got so you cannot mess with frontal area plus minus a little bit maybe because you know for accuracy of the website information and the uh, formulas and stuff but what I believe is possible to do is modify drag coefficient. If you do any research or any videos on drag coefficient, this is pretty much the shape of the body, like how aerodynamic our body is going through the air. And that's um, more videos on that later. I'm not going to go too scientific into that. AI hey, produced decent racing on this track, actually. It's a stock Daytona track with stock AI and 460, uh, 426 Hemis. Hope you guys enjoying the race. Anyway make engines great again <laughs> yeah i'm gonna make as many videos on how to make an engine as needed until everybody learns how to do it five six seven engines doesn't matter we're gonna make as many engines as possible and i'll show you where to get the numbers and how to do the math to the point where anybody could do it i could do it in my head nowadays now special video on weight and uh, rolling resistance and all those other stuff that you know um, implements that we're not going any more in details before we catch up with everything that was done so far so first we're gonna make a bunch of videos to show what was done and then we're gonna go step by step farther in development not the other way around so I'm not trying to jump too much in the head how much laps do we have here lap number six we got good pace anyway what else I wanted to talk about probably the future format of tech talk that's how I call it you know when we have to talk about cars and all that stuff and I'm a mechanic in real life I know all those stuff in uh, in, in real life basically I'm in the field I've changed the engines I've changed transmissions I did control arms I did camber and caster and all that stuff so everything is pretty much I'm familiar with all the parts that are going on surprisingly my computer is not overheating you know usually I had to drop my settings to medium otherwise my CPU was going beep, 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 beep. it's not the best rig ever maybe next time I gotta show you um, I'm almost all through all my points you know I might have skipped one or two but what else we're gonna be making some engine guys you already have seven to check out it, those are engines and the chassis have weight, frontal area and drag change. Let me talk about those a little bit. Let's say we have a bus, a huge bus. And the frontal area of that bus is 100 square feet, 100. Let's, let's do some metric stuff over here. Okay, and now let's say we have a Lamborghini car, you know, a little Lambo car, which frontal area is only 20 square feet okay like 20 takes 520s for a hundred so it's five times smaller than the bus let's say the bus has a crazy drag because it's pretty much a billboard right it's flat it's driving through the air it has huge frontal area and huge drag now how will we compensate it with the Lambo to make them equal what we could do right we could increase the size of Lamborghini Lamborghini five times right make it a huge funny looking prototype a bus looking Lambo that has the frontal area of 100 feet just like the bus now imagine it's the same size as the bus but is it gonna have the same drag no right because the shape of the Lambo is more sleek and aerodynamic and the bus is eventually a square brick even though the frontal area is the same okay we made the custom car that's huge as big as the bus but the drag is different this is what I want to talk about that shaping the body let's say you took the body and you reshaped it a little bit you gave it a little bit more slicker you a little bit more slicker bumpers a little bit more aerodynamic you know looking you all know how it's done and what it's doing for um, let's say we've done all that and we decrease the drag a little bit is that realistic is that possible let's say we tape the headlights you know we glued the tape and everything around the headlights that will decrease a little bit of the drag you know let's take we took the mirrors out 
the mirrors produce a little bit of extra drag to come out that's more realistic to change in the car size that's one thing that i'm not gonna accept is the cars but if you say this car is a ferrari and it's supposed to be the size of 18 square feet and your car is 25 square feet that's not a ferrari pretty much that's one point that i want to make clear and the most important bug of them all is the bug 001 in the rule book where the frontal area of the cup physics relates to the size of the gas tank and if you mess with one it's going to change the other one don't just learn the rule book look how it's done do it properly all these cars that were released they have custom gas tank proportional to the size of the car that's the sacrifice i had to make so if your car, let's say Honda Civic, and it has a frontal area of 23 square feet or 19 square feet, it's going to have a fuel tank of 19 gallons or 23 gallons. That is more realistic than having the proper gas tank and then the different size of the car. That's absolutely absurd. Anyway, I hope this video is already long enough. I think we're going for the finish. I have no idea who won. I think it's the white knight car. How racist is that? Yeah. Let's take a look at that. And I'll kill the video soon. Yeah, car 99. Hey white guys! Car 99 white knight just won! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Peace MTV. Peace everybody. I hope you enjoy it. Maybe.